Hello audience, I'm going to keep this brief. Welcome to everybody who's newly subscribed. I think it's 70 of you, which is crazy. I'm going to break 16 minutes in the 5k today, tonight, in a couple of hours actually. I'm very confident in my training. I'm extremely confident in how I feel and I just need to execute tonight and I believe in myself. So watch me do it because I'm going to do it. Hello audience, it is a couple days after the race. I believe it's Wednesday. Yep, Wednesday. And so it's Wednesday. I've had a couple of days to gather my thoughts about the race. And it wasn't bad. It was not a bad race. Sorry. Right now, I'm just preparing for a 60 minute run, which I'm excited for. I recently watched uh, Tin Man Elite's Drew Hunter's like morning routine. It was such a casual video and he hasn't been in a lot of their videos recently so I haven't watched a lot of their videos because he's the main reason I watch their videos. He's my favorite one of them. I like Reed Fisher as well. But um, anyways, in his morning routine he would do vitamin noon to start his morning. So I'm like, why would I not? He would do peanut butter toast. Peanut butter toast with a banana, brown sugar, and cinnamon. The brown sugar makes it enjoyable for me. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, and then a little coffee with some heavy creamer. And today we're gonna we're gonna have a, a Lego Kyle day. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the inspiration behind what I'm eating and drinking right now. This is the first day of doing that, so I'm gonna try to remain pretty consistent with that because Drew Hunter is a fast runner and I'm a slow runner. So if I do things that fast runners do, maybe I will become a slightly faster runner. Anyways, talk about the race. I'm going to talk about the race now. Um, so yeah, I have been last Saturday at Bentley University. It was the first of Battle Road Track Club, um, their Twilight series and i'm gonna be doing one on june 1st at bentley as well and then i think either a week or two after that so is in three weeks where i think i'm gonna break 16 i think so i'm very confident in that i have three weeks to prepare and do things and i'm gonna explain the things that i'm gonna do but right now i'm gonna talk about how the race went basically what happened is i went out perfectly perfectly on pace I was trying to just nail 77s um, for 400. And I think I did that for the first, I wanna say like five or six laps, like really consistently I was nailing it. And then I had like a 78 or a 79 in there. I'm like, oh God, I gotta start picking it up. So I think lap like seven and eight were 75s. And that is when I broke away from the group that I was with. It was the two top guys in my heat. I was in the second of three heats. They were running like a 1545 pace, I think. And then it was the chase pack. And I was like right in the perfect mix of the chase pack. I had a couple of people ahead of me, a couple of people behind me. I was just sandwiched in between. And then because I hit that 79 on lap seven or eight or whatever, six or seven, I, I kind of panicked a little bit and I went around that whole group and I was in no man's land. So I ripped two 75s alone and I'm like, I feel great. I feel awesome. I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going 
under 16 i might go under 15 50 that was my genuine thought at that moment but then obviously i'm running alone so i'm working much harder to sustain that pace than i think we had a mile to go and i i hit uh 79 and an 80 i believe for laps 9 and 10 and then the final couple of laps i think i just held on for whatever but close in 16 10 i had no kick i got out kicked by that whole chase pack i got eighth in my heat that was a little bit upsetting but overall i'm happy that i was able to like be competitive in a race again i haven't been competitive in a race in so long if you've been keeping up with this series i basically just show up to these races and i get lapped and i just get smoked from the very beginning too like i'll just put myself in the back because i know i'm gonna get fucking bodied but this is the first time where i legitimately thought that i could win a race and i know i didn't i know i was very far off that i know i was about 25 seconds away from doing so there was a there was a brief glimmer of hope in my eyes where i saw the top two guys right in front of me and i'm like i could maybe win this when i was feeling good running the 75s but that's okay i did not win i got eighth place i got 11 seconds off what my goal is but it is a massive step in the right direction i mean just an absolutely massive step i ran 1610 I'm getting closer. Uh, it was my second fastest time I've ever run in my entire life. So there's something to be said for that. Okay, so now that we're sitting closer, it's time to talk about what I'm going to do next. So like I was saying before, I'm doing the Battle Road Track Series, the Twilight Series, um, at Penley University. And so I got another one coming up on June 1st. And so the goal for that obviously is under 16 and I'm going to try some new things here. Um, number one is I'm gonna be doing core every single day. So leading up to the race, I will do a core workout every single day. I have already started doing it. I'm on day three of it. After this run, it'll be day four of it. So already doing it. You might see a video about it, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, core every single day because the main thing that I noticed when I started to fall apart in my last race is that my breathing got really heavy and my core got really tight and I didn't feel like it was strong enough to get me through the rest of the way. I feel like my legs are definitely at that point. Um, my legs felt really calm and, and comfortable and relaxed for the majority of that, but my core didn't allow me to have the kick that I wanted. And the kick is, you know, the last two or three laps, which can be 10 seconds seriously it really can't be I, I watched the whole pack go away from me and do it so <laughs> it, it was i wasn't a part of it though so i'll be doing that and that will make me stronger and then number two i'm going to be eating more protein because i feel like i've lacked in that if you have been following this channel you probably saw a video where i, I was talking about the little things guess what I haven't even been following my own advice for like a couple months now. The protein shakes, out the window. The core routine, coming back, but it wasn't there for a while. Waking up early, don't really do that anymore. Yeah, I'm not I'm not listening to myself. And you you have to listen to yourself if you set a goal and you want to accomplish it. That's like just goals 101. You just have to be able to do that. So I'm going to just try to listen to myself more and eat more protein because I feel like specifically during some of the hotter runs, I feel kind of hazy and I know I could be dehydration as well, but I feel like I'm pretty on top of that. Been putting electrolytes in my water again, noon tablets. So that hasn't really been an issue, but I just feel like hunger on my runs and I don't want to feel like that. I want to feel energized. So I'm going to start eating more protein before and after so that it's always in my body. And then the third and final thing is a different race strategy. Not even necessarily a different one, just sticking to the current one. So really just want to be more patient in my races. So like I was saying before, and like you saw in the race footage, I was impatient and I went with about a mile and a half left in the race. That's when I decided to make my move. Like, what the hell is that? I put myself in no man's land where I had a whole pack going the exact pace that I needed. And so... I'm just going to be a lot more patient in my race next race in June. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to just hit 77s all the way through. And if I hit a 78 or a 79 at some point there, I'm not going to panic and run, you know, two or three seconds faster than I'm supposed to run. I'm just going to keep doing that until about 
two or three laps or so and then I'm gonna really just see what I'm capable of and try to actually have a kick because not having a kick in a race is embarrassing and it kind of sucks and it's embarrassing and I don't feel good about it and it's embarrassing and I don't like it and I don't want to do it anymore so I'm not gonna do it anymore and then uh, the, the, you know like That's that. Uh, subscribe if you would like to subscribe. Thank you to the new people who have subscribed. It's about 75, 80 of you, something like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I hope I can deliver for you guys next video. If I can't, then uh, uh, just just stay tuned for more. And uh, yeah, like the video if you if you like the video, and uh, you know, subscribe if you uh, want to subscribe and all that. You know. Uh, and uh, have a good day.